My name is Sophia Rose and I'm from LA, California. Um, my family's originally from Havana, Cuba. So ultimately how I got into fitness, I was about four years old and I started with gymnastics, ice skating, swimming, ballet. My parents put me in all those extracurriculars. And ultimately I chose to stick with ballet. I had a big passion for it at a young age. And when I was 15, I turned pro with the San Francisco Ballet and uh, I danced with them for almost four years professionally, but I was really unhealthy and like struggled with an eating disorder because when I started with them, they told me that my body type was too muscular. And it was like, it, it took a huge toll on me mentally and physically. So I ultimately quit uh, dance because I lost my excitement for it because of that. So I got into boxing. It was a really, really natural transition for me. I kind of always was interested in it. I used to watch it a lot on TV, like boxing matches, and I thought it was really cool and badass. And I'm like, man, why aren't you know more, more women? It's like such a male dominant sport. So I took it up and I started training and I was really good at it. <laughs> um, mainly because it's a lot of rhythm and a lot of footwork and that's where my ballet kind of tied in. So I picked it up and I started training like four or five times a week doing it and just loved it. And it really made me realize like, hey, women are just as badass, women are just as strong as men and we're totally capable of doing anything. So once I started transitioning my life into fitness, I started really posting my workouts in the last year, I'd say, or so. Um, and, you know, my, my dynamic style of movement that's really different that you don't really see. And OpenFit reached out to me uh, via my IG. You know, they were, loved my page and, and what my brand was about. And I'm super excited to tap into the OpenFit audience and to reach, like, a new crowd. My workouts are super different. You know, there's a lot of boxing element, a lot of dance movements, and functional hybrid training in there that people aren't used to seeing day to day. So it's 10 workouts. Five of the workouts are gonna be like full body, badass, cardio style uh, workouts. Um, we have a booty focused workout, an abs workout, and then we have a, a workout specifically tailored to boxing, and another one specifically tailored to uh, primal like Primal Fitness, Animal Flow style moves. And my 10th workout are my Dynamic Dozen, so it's 12 of my signature moves um, that I'm kind of known for from my IG. Most people probably think that I'm always like this like intense like persona and I'm totally a softie. I'm a huge dork. <laughs> and I'm like super goofy and super silly. All my workouts are gonna be like super fun even though they're hard like I'm right there with you guys like you're gonna see me sweating you're gonna see me struggling so it's it's teamwork I want people to feel awesome <laughs> and you know challenged you know and that's that's the whole idea like I don't want people to come out of a workout feeling like man I barely barely sweat man like I don't really feel that you know like I don't know what I was working I want people to know what they were working I want them to feel it you know and feel the results and that's that's really what I'm about when I train for myself is, you know, you got to challenge yourself to create that change. That's where your mentality comes in, you know, that you're a knockout, you're a champ, and you are unstoppable, and you can conquer anything you put your mind and your body into. You can definitely expect to shred those muscles, to burn a lot of fat and calories in my workouts because they are super explosive, they are going to be intense, heart rate's going to be bumping pretty much the entire time, um, and you're going to just be feeling awesome, and you're going to be feeling way more in shape than when you started.